Alright guys, I'm sorry. I got him close to the boat. I thought I had my camera on. I checked and it wasn't on. Uh, it's a guy over here power washing. Y'all probably can barely make it out because I got a microphone. People, kids over here playing basketball and I couldn't hear my beep beep. <laughs> what I'm doing, let me tell you what I'm doing today. You can, if you can see this lady over here standing on the dock, she's got a green shirt on. I hauled at her in the first video. That's a nice little fish there. Nice little one. <laughs> He's about 10 inches. Um, she said they've been here for a couple days and hadn't caught any fish. And had a boat. They just come in and loaded the boat. And I know they probably caught a few fish out of the boat. But my point to, is in this video today is, and this is what I told her. And y'all heard me say the secret. I've told the secret a few times. The secret of crappy fishing. You got to find them. <laughs> you can't go back and say, I'm going to fish that dock right there. And I'm going to spend two hours right there with live minutes. I'll catch me a crappy. Well, you might catch one. You might catch two. You might not catch any. You got to find, what are they holding on? Where are they at? Uh, you can see our lake's up right now. We've had a bunch of rain. It's got some color to it. What color are you using? You can get into them. They won't pay attention to you. You know, a lot of people make comments about LiveScope. And I, this video is not about that, but I'm going to mention this, okay? Because I know, I know a lot of y'all have LiveScopes. You, make, men, you mention it. And a lot of you say, oh, I want to show me more LiveScope and that type of thing. And I, I try to show y'all some. I don't want my videos to be about LiveScope. There's a lot of guys on YouTube doing that, so, you know, we've got to be different guys. If we all do the same thing, then nobody stands up and you ain't going to watch them. But LiveScope is a tool that I have learned a lot. Now, I've had one since 2017. Yeah, 2017, I think. This boat's in 2018. When I bought this boat, I already had LiveScope, so I had it before that, and I transferred it to this boat. Now, I had a 9 then, and I'll tell you this. I heard somebody asked me the other day about getting a LiveScope. I don't think you can get it live scope in five and a five maybe a seven size seven don't go any smaller than a nine or ten if you're going to buy one i'm going to give you a pointer because everything on there is little it's like watching your 42 inch tv than watching a tv that's 12 inches yeah and a guy on there let's say he's got a suit on with buttons on it his buttons on your 42 are the normal size or what they should be you probably can't even see his buttons on that little 12 right Bait's the same way you, you're going to have a hard time seeing your bait and which is important, like right now, it's important for me. I'm using LiveScope today to help me, help me find the fish. And I freehand it sometimes. I, I just cast, and it just gives me a, a pointer, like saying, right there they are, and I'm going to throw it that way. But sometimes I need it. It helps me if I can see my bait, least to what depth it is, close to what depth it is, how fast it's falling, then I can count it. I can watch it fall. Okay, I'm counting. Okay, I need to count. I want it six feet. I need to count six pretty fast. It will help you with that type of thing. So you can figure out how deep your bait is. That's important too. If you get below the crappie, usually they won't pay attention to it. You want to stay above them. You want to make them come up for it. The shape of their mouth, they like to come up and hit it. We learned that watching the livescope too. When they get close to them, they turn and come up. Okay? That's what you learned. But I told her the secret. I said, I'm going to tell you the secret, ma'am. She had a couple of young men standing there with her. I said, I'm going to tell you, young man, they're probably in their 30s. I said, I'm going to tell you the secret. You've got to find them. She just looked at me. I said, what? They was fishing from a kayak. I said, you can run all over this lake, but you got to find, if you find an area that's got some crappy and you fish that area, like right now they're scattered in areas trying to spawn, you're going to catch some of them, all right? They don't spawn on every bank, do they? They seem like it's areas that they like better. you got to find them. So here's what I'm doing today. Uh, I'm going to fish down through here. I have fished down through here about three weeks ago, and I caught a couple. But it's the first time I caught them right here. Usually I start down there, but... I told her I was going to catch one before I went out of sight. That's why I started right here. Those jugs are marking a stump. There was a couple on it. They weren't paying attention to me. But there was a stump out here I caught one off of. And there was a stump right in here I caught one off of when I showed you. Okay? So they don't know the lake. They come here to play, and they really don't know the lake. Learn your lake. Learn what you're doing. Find the fish. Then fish for them. If you don't have a live scope, you go, you go, and you, this time of year, you're going to have to look and try to find some stumps. You're going to have to fish down the bank. What I would do if I didn't have a live scope, I'd go to a swim bait, like a shiner, two-inch swim bait, and I'd just fan cast it. I'd go down here slowly fan cast it. Once I caught one, I'd fan cast that area really good. A little male. Now, guys, I don't expect to catch monstrous fish doing this because you're catching a lot of the males. Uh, there's got to be some females here somewhere. So, yes, there's an opportunity to catch a, a decent fish here when you're doing something like this. 
I'm looking. Well, I didn't thought the bait was hook was deeper than that, but it came out there. Yeah, I'm using a green hook. That's a secret too. <laughs> He's just a little bit nine and a half. Now this is somebody's gonna say, Dennis, I ain't never seen that bait. This is the Grenada bug with the sparkle tail. When I made the Grenada bug, I shot it in like chartreuse tail, blue tail. I shot in different colors, guys. And uh, I just picked this one up and I opened the pack and I had them in there. So get one with the pearl tail. I picked up the sparkle tail. Uh, not a whole lot of difference between the sparkle tail and the pearl tail. That's why I went on and put them on the side in the pearl tail because I don't see a whole lot of difference in them. You know, the pearl's pretty white, draws attention. Probably the pearl was probably, tail was probably better in, in, in stained water. Uh, I know it's working good in stained water. I've seen where Sam was fishing a uh, lake that was stained see, like this the other day. Probably worse than this. Right now the visibility here is probably, probably 10 inches, maybe 11. And he was, uh, it's probably Grenada color, right? And he was catching fish on it. This, this jig I bought at Walmart, they used to have these Lucky Strike jigs in packs, like 10, and it was like, a, gosh, they wasn't much, guys, $1.50 or something like that, $1.99. And every time I'd go into the Walmart, I'd go back there and look through them. This is a 148. Look how little that head is. Yeah. And the reason I'm using only a 148, it might even be less than that, is because I'm only fishing seven foot deep. All right. Now I'll show you where that fish came from, if I can find it. There it is. See the stump right here? And look, that stump comes up less than two foot from the surface. He was right down in here. So I don't see any fish. I let it drop. That's why I said it was important to see your bait. I let it drop and it started reeling and he hit it. Now I'm going to show you something to my left. This is to my left. See, I'm looking this way. There's two right there. And I seen two stumps. And I seen a, I seen a stump all ago. It was almost to the surface. I'm thinking, so there's two little stumps back there. So a couple of fish are on the bottom. Some of them are bass, some of them are perch. You know, sunfish, brim. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just kicking around here, looking around my trolling uh, live scope. And if I see something that I think it's a, you know, a stump, I at least, and I think it could hold a fish, I at least throw at it one time. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's all dressed up, too. He looked, he looked like me this morning when I went to church. I wore a lot of black. He's got a lot of black on. <laughs> that's a baby. But, hey. He's a crappy and he's come off a stump and he's part of the spawn. <laughs> Here's what a surprise you guys. See, I'm in a pocket right here. I'm gonna get a little ways from the bank. And I'm gonna show you. Look, look at the stump right there. Look here. There's three stumps right here at 35 feet. That's where he come from. So I don't see any fish there. Look, I just moved my handle here. Just a little bit. There's two. I'm going to the left. I'm going left. I see there is one. Look at look at that one. <laughs> I haven't caught nothing there yet. There's a little one past that. See there, there look, this one's back here. See that where the handle's pointing? Whichever way this handle's pointing right here, that's where I'm looking. All right, this one came off that great big old stump I showed y'all. I moved my boat a little bit to the left. I like to get the stump about 30 feet from me. It helps me see my bait. And, and sometimes I don't see my bait. Like I said, I just count it down. Go like one, two, three. Start reeling because I'm not fishing that deep. And this thing being a 148th, Falls fashion. You can't. You can't do this with a one sixteenth. All right. He's small too. I see him come off the stump and grab it. You're not gonna do this with a one sixteenth. You're gonna be hung up all the time. You'd be surprised how fast this thing falls at a one forty eighth. I don't know if I can show y'all or not. It doesn't take much to lose this thing when the. I'm just gonna throw it out here. Right there it is. See it going there? Look how fast it's sinking. So you're down to five foot already. Damn. Hope y'all can see that all the way. All right, guys, we found another one. I moved over here like I told y'all I was. I checked out these other stumps I showed you. Nothing. Didn't see any on them. I threw at them a couple times. Uh, I seen a couple fish move, but I think they were some kind of sunfish. We have five different types of sunfish in here. We have green sunfish, bluegill, shell crackers, red breast. So, you know, when I say sunfish, I was talking about, I said that one day and somebody commented, we don't have any sunfish. What's a sunfish? <laughs> and I thought, well, it made just the way I said it. He's about 10 and a half. Uh, made just the way I said it. When I say sunfish, I mean all the, all the above. We have a lot of variety in here, and they're moving shallow too right now. So uh, they're sharing the stumps, and they will hang out together, believe it or not, a lot of times. So anyway, that came off of a, a, a stump here, and the fish wasn't, wasn't real close to the stump. It was close there. I could see it move. And I threw at it. You can see the bank going up right here. This is the bank going up. So it's six foot. Let's look at it in front of me. 
So I haven't looked around here. I just came around the corner. Nothing out through there to my left. That's a, there's like a pole right there. Down. See, there's one fish right there. That's how that one was. It was close to a stump. Like I had to suspend it and I threw at it. Bam. All right, guys. What I found here is I'm looking for stumps. And I knew that was here. I fish this area a lot. There was a little piece of brush on the front of this dock. And it has about six on it. See, they'll use anything like that to hold on and to spawn on. So when you're fishing shallow for crappy during the spawn, that's what you want to look for. That's a little female there. She's got eggs. All right. And uh, I'm still using that 148. Now, I got this one rod. I got a 132nd on it because uh, I was throwing it some deeper stuff for a while ago. Not all of them are real shallow. Most of them are. But uh, I knew that brush. So if you're fishing something that you know there are some brush piles or something, guys, you don't need a live scope. You can mark it with down rigging or whatever. Um, but it does help to look around. So here's some fish here, but I think they're small crappy. They're out here in 10 foot. I'm seeing that right off, and I think they're crappy that are not taking part in the spawn. I think they're probably four or five inch crappy. Uh, I've seen quite a few schools like that today. All right, and there's one nice fish in that. The one that nicer, I've been throwing at. I haven't caught any of them. Most of them, when the bait gets close to them, they run. Bam. All right, guys, I see somebody fishing shallow, and there's a couple stumps right here to my right. <laughs> right on this bank, I thought, on this point. I thought, I wonder, and I didn't see anything on the stumps. I thought, I wonder to throw a hold on that dock. Huh. I had me tied for a while, guys. That's what happens when you go for a while and you're fishing docks and you don't retire. He's a little fella. But I just thought, I wonder if, they, uh, if they're holding on that dock for, uh, for shade. It was 82 yesterday. Today it's only 62, I think, last when I left the house. Sure enough, they are. A couple's up on the corner of this dock. All right, guys, got another one off the stump. Right. If they don't move, I'll try to show you. These crappy are still moving some. I'm finding some that I throw at a couple times at a stump, and they just swim off. They just go on. They're kind of spooky. I think it's because they're shallow. I'm in deeper water right now, throwing at a stump against the bank over here. I'm trying to stay back a little ways, too. So anytime you're fishing something like that, kind of watch the fish. If you don't have a live scope and, and you're catching one here and there, you might be because you're spooking them some. When they go shallow sometimes, they can get spooky. And we've got a lot of boat traffic going on right now, too. He's about 10, he might be 10 inches, guys. Caught him on the stinger. I switched to a stinger down here because y'all notice it got cloudy. It got cloudy and with the water color going on right now, it's hard to beat some sunshine, right? <laughs> Sunshine Stinger, two inch, what I was throwing there. All right, guys, here they are, right here. See the stump right there? Stump's right there. So I pulled them off that stump. And it's a little group of them there. That's the most I've seen on one stump. They're scattered now. There wasn't a ball on that little piece of stump. It ain't much of a stump there. Of course, a lot of it's the way I got my uh, my uh, scope looking, too. I can move my scope and see some more of it. It might even be a little piece of brush, but it ain't been like a foot and a half tall. But they're sitting there on top of them. That's what they're doing. They're moving shallow like that. Any kind of little cover, it doesn't take much, guys, cover. You know, you, you, they don't take a brush pile size of this boat. It can be a, a small stump. In fact, there's small stumps like this that are, have some roots to them, you know, sticking up maybe. You know, you know what I'm saying? When they get worse if they get roots up. I think they're even better where they can get down in that root ball and stuff. Some of those tall stumps I showed you earlier in the video, the big tall ones, there wasn't none on those stumps. Some of the stumps were six foot tall. They wasn't on them. They was on the stumps that was three foot and under mostly, if I could see them. But I threw out a bunch of stumps now today. And uh, like I say, I'm not seeing many fish. I throw at them sometimes. I see them move. They're very hard to catch. They got spawning on their mind. When this spawn is over, then it'll get really aggressive. And that's what everybody's asking me now. When's crappy season start? <laughs> I mentioned this before. And I laugh at them. What they mean is, when are they easy to catch? Well, they're starting to get easy to catch now, and the water's up to 68 right here. It was 71 back in the back of the cove. When they, uh, I'm out further, guys. And when the, um, when the spawn happens, after the spawn, they'll get easy to catch. It's a good time to put a swim bait on, curly tail grub. It's a good season for curly, curly tail grub. I could have caught that on curly tail. And just go down the bank and throw at any cover. If your water's clear enough, where you can make a dark spot up in the water, you go, hey, that's a stump. 
throw at that, at the weights that's holding these balls. They're on five-gallon buckets. They'll get on those. Look, guys, this is the ball. That's, that's, the, that's the rope going up there to that ball. They'll, get on the, they'll, move, they'll move to docks, around the edges of the docks, under the docks, once the spawn is over. And for about three weeks, the crappy fishing is easy. And that's what people are calling crappy season, all right? To me, crappy season is from January 1, okay, to December the 31st. I fish year-round. <laughs> Appreciate y'all guys. A little video on catching them shallow, how I do it, okay, what I'm looking for, and what I'm using. Oh, let me show you one more thing. I cut the barb off, guys. Dave gave me a little pair of cutters. I got, my, got them out of my tackle box. I cut that barb off. The first uh, sunshine bait I put on, I messed two or three fish and they pulled it down and busted the nose out of it. Why? Because that barb was on there, okay, lead barb. That lead barb is supposed to hold the weight, hold the bait right here, busted the nose out of it. All right? That barb, that's all it's good for, guys. We talked about that other Wednesday night, didn't we? Some of y'all might love them. Try it sometimes without one. Cut it off see what happens. You won't go back. <laughs> hey, guys. See you next time. Fishing Lake Country. Dennis.